Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the website GrooveShark.com. Now, I've mentioned this website in a couple of other videos before, and basically what GrooveShark is, is it's a service that will uh, basically allow you to stream music over the internet and basically play any song you want to over the internet for absolutely free. Now, this is an awesome service, but however, just in my nature, I like having desktop clients of stuff, and so I like the GrooveShark service but however I wish that they had a desktop client to go ahead and use their service just with the desktop client and uh, I think I found a way to do that now this is an unofficial release of a GrooveShark client but you can go ahead and download a GrooveShark client for Mac by going to this link right here which I will link in the video's description basically what it does is it basically takes the GrooveShark website and interface and basically puts it in its own little application for your Mac so you can go ahead and have a desktop client to use this uh, free music streaming service so if you want to go ahead and download it you can download it here by clicking on the install installer package or the disk image. I myself just downloaded the installer package and installed it. So anyway, this isn't currently like a finished product. It does have a couple of bugs, but it does it does the service. It does what the job of GrooveShark is supposed to do but it is a desktop client, which is what I love about it. Now, if you guys are interested in downloading it, you can download it from here. I'll post the link down below in the video's description. But uh, just in case you guys uh, experience any issues, here are the known issues here on their website. And as you can see here, uh, it says that the close button does nothing and uh, he just put it there for looks so if you guys are trying to close out of the window and you can't close it then that's why just read the known issues in case you guys uh, experience any issues because uh, it might just be an issue or a bug known with the software so anyway once you download it it'll come up to this right here which is a GrooveShark desktop client if I go ahead and launch it up as you notice it will launch up to sort of like an interface like the GrooveShark website, only it's a desktop client. And as you can see here, it even removed the little advertisement sidebar. Now, I don't know if it'll remove the advertisement sidebar permanently, but however, it will be there. So you have the same interface as the website. So if I go back to the website, here's the website, and uh, here's the client. And for sakes of this video, I'm going to close out of the website and go back to the client. But anyway, as you can see here, you have your basic GrooveShark, your search, your what's happening in your community, you have your sidebar over here, you have all your different options, and you have your little uh, play bar down here with that you can expand to see your playlists, and you have all the same stuff that you would have on GrooveShark. You can click settings, and you can uh, choose through any of these settings right here, and uh, you can choose to become a member, or you can log in with your GrooveShark username and password, or Facebook or Google account. I myself have tried the Facebook and Google account, and those have not worked, but however, my GrooveShark username and password did work. And you can go ahead and um, choose the radio, you can choose it on, off, and you can even choose to, radio, uh, to load stations. You can clear playlists and stuff, and as you can see here, it's a bit laggy, but it's a it's a client in progress, and the only reason I like this piece of software is because I like the, f the concept of having a service like this, but with a client, and um, that's just my personal preference, but that is why I like this piece of software. And you can go ahead and uh, choose your preferences up here, and you can even go ahead and uh, select different applications, like you can use general, and you can uh, do all this stuff right here with the general. You can choose the appearance, which will choose all your themes, fonts, blah, blah, blah. You can even choose to put in uh, user styles from uh, userstyles.org. And you can do all of this other stuff right here. And I'll leave you guys to go ahead and uh, explore the preferences and all this kind of stuff. And uh, it does work. So uh, I'm trying to think of a band that I could uh, go ahead and uh, search for some music of. But uh, basically it works. So um, let's go to... Uh, let's just search on stations. So, as you can see here, it just played a random radio station, and apparently it went on Facebook. Okay, so it basically played the radio station. So, as you can see here, it works. However, I do not like the choice in song that they picked on that. Well, maybe I shouldn't have picked the classical station. But, anyway, that is pretty much it. So, that's the Groove Shark client. Uh, again, it's a pretty, it's a free download. You can go ahead and download it from the website that I will link in the video's description. And anyway, if you guys want to go ahead and try it out, feel free to go ahead and download it and try it out and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, just to show you that one little bug where the close button does nothing, 
to quit out of it, you just uh, quit the application like you would any normal application. But anyway, that's the application. You can go ahead and download it from this link right here, which I'll put in the video's description. Thank you a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Thank you for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more content from me, then feel free to go ahead and check out my website, which is a 110210085net 46net And don't be afraid if you guys can't remember that link. The link will be in the description of the video that you just watched. On this website, you can find links to all my YouTube channels and a couple other projects that I have on the web. And you can also view my Facebook and Twitter accounts. And if you guys need to go ahead and view my Facebook and Twitter accounts right now, they're slash NickW324. So anyway, check out my, my website for more content from me. And thank you for watching today's video. And goodbye.